Hey everyone, good morning and happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to hop on today to do a makeup look with you guys. <clears throat> I think we are going to do a simple makeup look with a red lip today. Haven't done a red lip in a while, so I thought that's what we would do. So I am going to let some people hop on. We're gonna share the video in a few places. Once you hop on, say hello. If you're catching the replay, which means there's no longer a red live button up here in the corner, um, uh, comment hashtag replay down below. Um, and then if you could network this video out for me by hitting the button in the bottom left-hand corner um, and then let me know that you did, I'd appreciate it so, so much. For those who don't know me, my name is Kayla and I am a presenter with Unique, Pink Status Presenter. And so these are all Unique products that I'm using. Um, if you would like to shop some unique goodies, the link is in, up in the description. So if you want to grab you something, or if you know what you want and you'd like me to order for you, I can always invoice you and order it up for you, whichever is easier for you. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and the shopping link for you all will be down in the description. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I gotta do a little bit of my skincare. I haven't added my eye cream yet this morning. Um, if you guys have not tried Unique's new eye cream yet, you need to go grab it and add it to your morning and nighttime routine. This stuff has done wonders for my under eyes. I love it. So it only takes a little, little bit. Hi, Emily. Literally takes the tiniest amount. I just like to add it on there and then I'm gonna go in with the applicator. <clears throat> Hi, Jen. Jennifer. Okay, so I just add it on there and then usually, whoops. Um, usually I will stick this little guy in the freezer, um, but it's really cold right now. Must be just from where it was sitting in my room. And then I'll massage it on here like this. And this is going to help um, the coldness. The metal uh, helps the puffiness, reduce the puffiness. And it also helps with the blood flow just by massaging under the eyes like this. I'm telling you, go grab this little combo. Add it into your skincare routine. You're going to love it. Especially if you have puffy under eyes or if you have really dark circles um, add this into your routine. Okay, it's under the Uology section on my website. If you need help finding it, let me know. I just love it. <clears throat> Sound like a car door. Okay, so we're just gonna massage that in. Once it's pretty much like blended in, then I will just take my ring fingers and kind of pat the rest in. I'm telling you guys, my under eyes look so much better than before I started that new eye cream. And they're much brighter looking underneath. <coughs> I actually made me an iced coffee today. I haven't even really been in the mood. This is how I know I was sick because <laughs> my appetite has changed and uh, I haven't been in the mood for iced coffee. Like I made one the other day and then I didn't even finish all of it. That's not like me when it comes to iced coffee. But I'm definitely on the mend Okay, so eye cream, look at the cute little packaging it comes in. So cute. The applicator is sold separately, um, but you'll find it right under the eye cream on my website. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and prime the face. I did already use rose water toning spritz on my face. The 50 milliliter is back in stock. Um, you might wanna grab it before it goes out of stock because the rose water does not stay in stock very long. 
but the 50 milliliter is in stock. So we're gonna use the mattifying face primer today. This has become my new favorite face primer. Um, even though it says mattifying, I feel like any skin type can use it, but I just find that it really helps to fill in my pores. That's why I love it. And it does not feel drying on my face. Okay, so I like to really add it under the eyes and around the nose, forehead, chin. That's where I really concentrate it. Ignore the nails. I tried to paint them the other day. That's what happens when I paint them. <laughs> Literally within a day. Half gone. <coughs> <coughs> And I haven't been able to order me any more color straight for a while. Oh, I misplaced my straw that goes to this cup. And this one's not tall enough, so it keeps like falling down in the hole. I need a taller straw. Okay, so typically I would let my face primer set for a few minutes. Um, we're going to use the spray foundation today. I know a lot of the shades are out of stock. And some will be restocking this month. There's several sh couple shades that will be restocking this month. Um, but the darker shades will not be restocking. Some of them until October. So once this stuff comes in stock, you guys have to hop on there and grab it. Or have me grab it for you. Because it goes so quickly. Because people like literally load up on it. It's the best foundation ever. I mean, it's the best I've ever used. <clears throat> Okay, so we're just gonna shake her up. We're gonna apply it with the damp sponge. <coughs> okay, so I am using the shade Taffeta, which I probably could use the eyelet, but it is out of stock. Okay, so I just sprayed it onto my damp sponge. Once blended in though, Taffeta works just fine. But it's so good, guys. It's full coverage. So lightweight. So, like, once you get it blended in and it dries, you can't even feel it. Jen used it today. Yeah, it's Jen's favorite foundation, too. That's why I usually keep a pre-order list going for it. So for most of my customers, I tell them, let's f figure out your shade that you need and then you need to grab it when it comes in stock because it doesn't usually stay in stock very long. Hi, Jana. I mean, just look at that coverage. It just smooths everything out. It gives you a nice airbrush finish. This is personally my favorite way to apply it with the damp sponge. You can also use a kabuki brush works really well but I like using the sponge. Yeah, Emily, you gotta try it. It's good, girl. So good. Okay, look at that. So that was just one layer and that pretty much smoothed everything out. See that? I mean, and it still looks like skin. It's not cakey looking, but look at this. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's incredible. All right, let's do the other side. Watch this. So work on one side first because it dries. I mean, there's enough time for you to blend it on, but it dries fairly quickly because it is transfer resistant. It dries kind of quickly. So just work on one side first, then move to the other side. See that just covered everything up. 
in one coat. Amazing, amazing. I'm telling you, you will not want to go to another foundation after using the spray. So if you need color match, message me. I'll get you color matched. And if your shade's out of stock, if I can't find it anywhere, I'll get you on my pre-order list. And make sure to get it in your hands and onto your face. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it is buildable. If you need more coverage in a, um, certain areas, you can let this first coat dry and go in and add a little bit more if you need. I just like a light layer on me because I just don't like like a ton of foundation on. So if you can still see like a few of my blemishes, it doesn't bother me. Like I kind of like it to still look like skin. You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> now what I'll do is I will, I mean sometimes most of the time I'll highlight, um, but even with the spray foundation, it's such full coverage that if I didn't want to highlight under the eyes, um, I don't have to. I'll throw on bronzer and blush and call it a day. But <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I highlight with the lightest shade called Scarlet. And then I'm going to use this little angled side of my sponge spray it right onto there and it doesn't take much that sound like I was spraying a lot that's just because I'm at the end of this one <laughs> need a new scarlet and then I'll just tap that underneath the eyes and then down the center of the face okay and then this will kind of just brighten areas of the face up take it on to the eyelids that way the eye area is nice and bright. And then we're just gonna blend it in with our sponge. Easy peasy, y'all. I mean, do you see how the skin is just looking like flawless now? Okay, so that mattifying face primer with any of our foundations is like a great combo. Hi, Jen. It didn't tell me that you joined. <laughs> Are you at work? Oh, you went to the tire place. That's right. That's always fun. Look at that, guys. Oh, I love it. I love it. I have one of my uh, customers. She's hard, like, it's like her ride or die foundation. And her shade's out of stock right now. I'm trying to find it for her. because it's the only foundation she likes to use. I mean, look at that. Who can blame her, right? Oh, I finally have some new Behold Setting Spray, or Behold Setting Powder on the way. I have been out forever, and I'm getting low on the setting spray, and it's out of stock. But I do have the setting powder on the way. So I've just been using this, uh, Walmart brand setting powder. Okay, so we're just gonna set over top of the highlighted areas and then we will blend onto the rest of the face. Okay, because the spray foundation does dry down really nicely. 
so you don't have to use powder if you don't want to. I just personally like setting it. Okay, so we'll just do that and then take our, I'm just gonna take my uh, a kabuki brush and then just blend it out. All over. Now we are really flawless looking. Okay. That's another product that you might want to grab while it's in stock. Is the Behold Setting Powder. That stuff is amazing. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to add some bronzer to warm up the face. Get me another drink of coffee and all oh, the straw. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the pretty rose gold lid off of it. <clears throat> that was cute while it lasted. And we'll just drink it like this. There we go. So my husband picked me up some iced coffee at the store the other day. Um, and this one's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Caramel Macchiato is not my favorite. If you know me, what is my favorite iced coffee flavor? I don't know who's still on here. What's my favorite iced coffee flavor? Little quiz for you guys. Caramel macchiato is not my favorite. I like many iced coffee flavors, but there's one that is like my go-to. It's pretty basic. Shouldn't be too hard to answer. Who knows it? What's my favorite iced coffee? Hi, Esther. We're, we've got a quiz going to see who knows my favorite iced coffee flavor. I was just saying how uh, caramel macchiato is not my favorite. <laughs> like, it's okay, but it's not amazing. <clears throat> All right, let's add a little bit on the side of the nose. Mocha, Emily got it. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, Mocha is my favorite by far. Although I got, um, I have some of the Jordan Skinny Syrups and Mocha was the worst one. And I was so excited to get these because I had heard good things about them. But I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of them. The Mocha tasted like chemicals to me <clears throat> white chocolate Car no good good guess Esther I do like white cho uh, is it white chocolate mocha something like that that one's good too but mocha is like my go-to just plain ice mocha I love it <clears throat> you know who has a good ice mocha surprisingly is McDonald's I would probably take theirs over Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. Their ice mocha is like pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's add some blush. Which blush do we want to use? <clears throat> Which blush do we want to use? Let's, I'm going to use this one even though it's not in stock. We're going to use Serene. <clears throat> Why not? You like McDonald's, Esther? It's pretty good. 
pretty good and pretty affordable, so. I think that might be the mailman. I've got some packages that I'm expecting. Oh man, they need to bring this blush shade back. Oh, it's such a goodie. Look how pretty that is. It almost has like a built-in shimmery gold highlight. I miss this one. That's why I still use it even though it's not available. All right, let's set with some Behold Setting Spray. Locker in place. <clears throat> My husband loves white chocolate hazelnut coffee. Mm, I've never tried the hazelnut with the white chocolate. I need to try that one. So here's the thing. I am not good at making iced coffees at home. You guys have probably heard me say this before. I'm just not good at making them taste good at home. I don't know what it is. It just never tastes right. Like I'm bad at measurements, I guess, of stuff. Just not good at it. So um, this kind that I'm drinking right now is the Starbucks like already made stuff. <clears throat> My kids love McDonald's caramel frappe. Oh yeah, those are good too. Those are yummy too. I actually hadn't had an iced coffee probably in like probably like three weeks guys that's a long time for me until I got this one I hope you have a good morning I'm at work oh thanks Esther you too girl you too we're just gonna do a simple eye look today and then a red lip and we'll be done hi Drea I love the mocha frappe from McDonald's too Kimberly hi it didn't tell me that you joined Hey girl, um, mocha frappe from McDonald's. Oh, so good. Now you guys got me wanting a McDonald's one because this one doesn't taste that good. I didn't want to hurt my f husband's feelings. He should know that mocha is my favorite by now. Um, caramel macchiato. There's something about the taste that just, I don't know. It's not that good. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so for the eyes today, we are going so basic, so, so basic. So I think I am literally just going to pat this like matte shade called Calm all over the lid and then throw on some lashes. I think that's all we're doing for the eyes. So easy. Okay, so palette number six. If you have not grabbed this palette yet this month, guys, it's back for this month only in the Customer Kudos Bundle. Hi, Cassie. Um, it's available only in... Oh, it's the mailman. It's the mailman. I think I have a package. Oh, I'll have to get that when I get off. Um, if you haven't grabbed it yet, grab it because once it goes out of stock in the Kudos Bundle this month, it is retiring. Look at its gorgeousness. Okay, this one needs to be in your makeup arsenal. Palette number six. So what I do is blend coffee with butter creamer, sugar, and heavy whipping cream, then pour it over ice. Okay, Emily, you'll have to message me. Hey, Isaiah. Hold on a second. Isaiah. He can't hear me. <clears throat> I'll get him when I get off. I just don't like packages sitting on porches. Can you look on the porch and see if there's uh, any packages sitting there? Because the mailman just uh, came up to the thing. Um, do you have any tips to avoid the fallout that happens with glitter shadows? Yes, Kimberly. What I suggest if you're going to do any kind of eye look like that, or any kind of dramatic eye look, like if you're doing a super dramatic smoky eye or anything with glitter, what I recommend doing is taking your setting powder. I'm gonna do this real quick, even though I already set under my eyes. Take your setting powder and like load it up. Load it up underneath. Okay. Let it sit like that while you do your eyes. 
okay? And then when you are done, take your little brush, sweep it all away, okay? So any fallout is gonna fall right on top of that powder and then it's not gonna mess your under eyes up. Okay, there we go. All right, now for the eyes. I'm just gonna take this shade from palette number six called Calm, and I'm just gonna kind of just add it all over just as like a base, although I'm not doing anything else with it. <laughs> but just kinda to even out the lid. It's really just like a matte, a matte color. Okay, I'll try that because it's so annoying. Oh, I know, I know. And then when it messes up your foundation and stuff, so annoying. So try that, let me know how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way up to the brow. Okay, super easy. So simple today, okay? Now let's add some. Should we use 4D mascara or Epic Waterproof? You guys pick 4D fiber mascara or Epic Waterproof. Which one? <clears throat> and then for our lippy, while you guys are deciding, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. We're gonna do a red lip with Primal Lip Liner and um, Starburn Splash Liquid Lipstick. If you get liner or fallout to use your foundation brush to wipe it away. Yeah, but this is kind of like a preventative, so that, that way you don't have to do any of that. Um, by adding that powder underneath, it's kind of preventative so you don't mess up your foundation. I mean, sure, if you didn't do powder and you get it on your face, you could do that. Go 40, okay? Kim votes 40. Okay, I probably need to exfoliate my lips for this red lip. Emily says 4D. You need more, girl. It's in the kudos this month. You can get the 4D. Um, where's my, I need my lip exfoliator. Okay. Oh, I love that peppermint one. They need to add that on the website. It was exclusive in our Black Friday bundles. Um, and it is like my favorite. Okay, I just need something to wipe this off. Oh, girl, I hear you. I do. Well, hit me up, girl, whenever you need it. Yeah, Emily's been waiting on her uh, tax money for a while, too. <coughs> All right. We're going to line the lips with Primal. Sometimes you just need to throw on a red lip, guys. I don't don't wear a red lip often enough. Um, Kim, it just now said you were. It still hasn't even told me that she's joined. <laughs> what is the deal? Facebook's so weird sometimes. Okay. All right, 
Here we go. Stubborn Splash Liquid Lipstick. You guys, I organized my lippies this morning. I got them all in my holders, all of my lip pencils in this little cute donut cup. <laughs> It'd probably be smart for me to get a mirror. Probably. If you don't think you can wear a red lip, I promise, try it. You might be surprised. Look at that. I love doing a red lip with a super like clean, simple eye look. Usually no eyeshadow, just like bomb lashes. So 4D mascara. We are gonna get these lashes popping. It looks so pretty with a red lip or really any bold lip with like a really simple eye. I love it. <clears throat> okay, let me I had an eyelash under my eye. Okay, we're going 4D wiggle at the base. Build up the base. And then twirl to the tips. And then voila, beautiful lashes. Hi, Brie. It's important with the 4D to wiggle at the base first. Look at that lash line. Look how thick that made that lash line look. Super, super important to do that first. Okay, and then I'll let that dry. And then we'll go in, re-dip it, get some more fibers on there, and then just kind of twirl it at the tips again. Only at the tips. That's how I get the best results with the 4D. Look at that, look how pretty and wispy that looks. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna re-dip it and build up the base on the other side. <clears throat> I've got this cough drop sitting here in front of me that I'm getting ready to put in. I didn't want to do it while I was on a live, but I want it. It's hard to talk with a cough drop in and do a tutorial. Okay, build up the base, wiggle it. Just like that. And then twirl to the tips. Who's excited for the new mascara? The Twisted Mascara. Holy moly. I cannot wait, mine is on the way. I'm so excited, I can't even. Have you ever tried heating an eyelash curler with a hair dryer and then curling your lashes before mascara? I have seen people do that. Um, I need to get a new eyelash curler because mine broke. <laughs> um, but I don't use an eyelash curler hardly ever. Um, just because personally with our mascaras, mine don't really need to be curled. I mean, I'm sure they probably could use it a little bit more, but I just need a good eyelash curler. The one I had was not very good. And I hadn't even had it long and it already broke. My sister told me about a good one, I think by Revlon, but when I checked at Walmart, I couldn't find it. But I have seen those little uh, heated like lash curlers. Have you seen those, those little electric things? That stuff scares me though. <laughs> 
but I see I have a friend who uses it and it looks like it does really work but it scares me having that heat by my eye now I have used a blow dryer and just blown my eyelashes up that really helps too I haven't been able to try the 4d one coat yet you haven't tried 4d Emily really what do you use epic um I love 4d like look at that it makes the lashes look beautiful um but if I had to pick between 4D and Epic, I'd probably choose Epic. Epic's just got a great formula. So with the new one that's coming out, I'm super pumped because it's got like an improved double wand feature. It's got two wands, guys, in, in one. So I am like really pumped to try it. And I do have a pre-order list for the Twisted Epic. If you want to hop on it, I'm going to be placing an order on the 18th. Which is like, what, only a week away? Whoop, whoop. So exciting. Let me know if you want to hop on my pre-order list for that. <sighs> I did when it... Oh, you... Oh, the 3D? Mm-mm. Girl... I did not like the 3D. 4D is so much better than the 3D. My 3D sat uh, in my makeup bag and rarely got used because I did not like it. The 4D is so much better. So the 4D is like epic and 3D had a baby. Okay, so it was like the best of both worlds. Um, but 3D on its own, I did not like. I love epic too, epic's amazing. Actually, I might take a little bit of Epic Waterproof and just top over top of my 4D just to ensure that it stays in place. If my eyes get watery or anything today, just add a little bit of this right over top. Because why not? I love them both. Oh, I got a little baby hair getting in the way. Whew, look at those lashes. Oh, so good. So as you can imagine, when Unique says they're coming out with a new lash product, we get excited because we are like the leading company in lash products. No joke. So we get pumped. I already sold all of my uh, ones that I got from the convention. Um, so I'm excited to get some more. But there is today's makeup look. Oh, guys, brows. We need to throw on a brow. Brow Obsession Palette. I think these are still available maybe in the... Uh, I haven't checked in a little while. The Medium and the Dark Palette. These are retiring, so if you've been wanting to get it, you might want to grab it ASAP. And go ahead and grab the Brow Artist Brush. This combo is so good, I'm sad that they're taking these away. But the Brow Pencil is back in stock, guys. All three shades. So if you need a pencil, it's back in stock. Heads up. But I love the brow palette. It's so good. I don't know why it took me so long to get the brow obsession palette. I literally just started using it within the last year or so. Um, I was a presenter for a couple years before I purchased the brow palette. And one of my Y sisters was like, you don't have the brow palette yet. He's like, what are you thinking? I was like, well, my brows are like pretty thick, so I don't feel like I really need brow products on them. She was like, okay, just get it, trust me, try it, and you're gonna be obsessed. 
and I can remember the first time I did them because I really didn't fill my brows in before that. And I was like, whoa. I was like, okay, that made such a big difference. Even though my brows are thick, that really did just by defining them more and giving them a little bit more shape. I was like, that really does make a huge difference. All right, guys, this look is finished. I'm gonna hop off here. Let me know if you have any questions. If you need to place an order, um, my name is Kayla. You can shoot me a message. Um, I do have an inbox on my business page here on Facebook, Kayla's Marvelous Makeup. You can message me there. There's also a shop button on my business page. Um, so if you have not liked my business page yet, I'm trying to boost that business page up. So go give it a like and follow. Um, let me know if I can help you anything. I hope you guys have a great Monday. Thanks for all of you who jump, jumped on and chatted with me today. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I love you all. Make sure to network this video out. Hit that button in the bottom left-hand corner. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys on my next live. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.